20 years ago, just a few corners uh, round this famous track in the old pit straight, Martin Brundle conducted his first ever grid walk. And in the two decades that have passed since, he's met some intriguing characters. 1997 had many things that stick in my memory. I joined Arrows, Chumbawamba, and a man called Martin did his very first grid walk. But when you do arrive on the grid, as Villeneuve has just done, look what you can see. Come over my shoulder here, Keith. Remember that a driver's sitting down. This is about his perspective. Let's find Damon. What can you say? Well, I can say that we're pleased to be the quickest bridge runner. Pedal to the metal, go for it. We're all behind you. Of course, it didn't always go to plan. I want to have a word with this guy because he's complete and utter fruitcake. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Uh, uh, I'm just in a currently writing a musical about the life of Tommy Rasputin and the Mad Monk. And we just got... Uh, I need to go on Broadway. All right, I'll try and think of a question for that answer. Can we have a quick word with you for British television? No, English. You do understand English? No, English. Hey, no. Ronaldo doesn't speak English. You're confident the Ferraris can get the job done? Why? Well, I don't understand. Is, is Beckham coming to Spain? That's good. No comprende. Kimmy, you missed the presentation by Pele. Yeah. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a <laughs> Obviously, you'll have a nice light car on the grid then. Did you bring the dogs with you? No, they're all at home. Uh, excellent. Thank you very much. I think we'll move on. How many Grand Prix have you been to? Um, let's see. One. Martin was always the perfect gentleman on the grid. Yeah. Are we? Are you? Uh, are we in a queue? Or? Okay. How big? How big is the queue? Do we need to take a ticket like at the cheese counter? Sebastian, quick word for BBC. Are you stealing my interview, Tanya? Yeah, oh, well, lovely to see you. Sorry, we go back a while. See you later. <laughs> I'm in trouble. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations on being old. It's a shame you're too old to have driven here, really. I am too old to have driven here, but uh, shame you wasn't fast enough to get to Formula One. Give you a lucky nipple tweak. I haven't done that. For... Ow! I, uh, I'm missing the nipple tweak. Let's see if I can return the lucky nipple tweak. Thank you for that. I'm not talking to you. And Martin, I think, his, his great history in the sport, his, um, his character, his energy. Let's keep going. It's amazing how long the grid is, isn't it? I didn't realise it was quite so far down this grid, but I'm not going to give up now. Brian, glad I caught up with you. Had to run to you. Um, <laughs> Humor there right away. Yeah, it seems like everything I do today is in yeah, a bit I'm of a rush, but so, yeah. please, please forgive me. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> These drivers are, are pretty reckless, but they don't give up, do they? Thanks for talking to us. Let's hope we can make it a race to remember. Thank you yeah, very and, much, uh, Brian. When you're gone. See you. He's got such a recognisable voice um, that um, people respect and admire. Mariah, may I have a word for Sky TV? No, 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 no. Okie dokie. I think that's... Um, I think it's Oh well, that's not going to spoil my life. Venus, can we have a quick word? Martin Brundle, Sky F1. Can I give you a second chance with that question? Yeah, I think that was a, that was a firm no, wasn't it? Owen, Martin Brundle, Sky TV. Thank you. Uh, can you have a quick word? To the viewers, what, I think this is your second Grand Prix, yeah? This is my second. I went to one in Spain. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, that's always interesting to know, isn't it? But no matter who you are, he's always asked the tough questions. I've looked at it very closely. I've driven 158 Grand Prix. I've seen the TV, so I commentated on it live. Well, you only think that because you don't know the facts. OK, then we have to beg to differ, but thanks for your opinion. Surely we just have to have a, a sensible pill and go motor racing. Tell me where we can buy the pills. I don't, we need to talk to Mrs Ecclestone. I hope that he stays around for a long time because I think he's really today's Murray Walker. I think the only sensible thing to do, because the cameraman's going to fall over, is to go back to the studio. <laughs>